Okay, here on the rear, we got 14 mil head bolts. Of the pin now. So, rear calipers, you got a rubber boot on, the, on this pin. This pin with our boot is the bottom pin. <clears throat> Pads popped out, they're out the way. <clears throat> Let's get the piston compressed again. Caliper mounting bolts, bracket mounting bolts, 19 millimeter. Okay, so the rear brake system has got the parking brake inside the uh, hat of the, the, the drum. Well, the drum in the hat contains the parking brake. So you can't just pull this rotor off by smacking it with a hammer. So you gotta get this open here. On this car, the parking brake adjuster is right at the top. So I'm just gonna adjust it, uh, adjust the parking brake pads in, pull this off, and I'll show you what I was adjusting. So what you have up here, this is the adjuster here. It's got these teeth on it. So basically, depending on which side of the car you're on, um, I always forget, so I try both ways. You're basically reaching through with the screwdriver and pushing up on these teeth, okay? And that's adjusting them. So right now, going that direction on the left side of the car, that's adjusting the pads in. We get the new rotor on, we'll adjust them the other way, right? We'll adjust this down and spread the pads out till they just touch the rotor. And I'll show you, you just need a little tension on it so you know these are touching, but the wheel still needs to be able to spin. Uh, you can't have these so tight that the wheel can't spin, otherwise, you know, they'll heat up and it'll affect your gas mileage. So I'll show you that next. Okay, get your rotor in place where you can still access that adjuster through that hole. And you see how this moves, this moves quite freely right now. So you gotta look in, find those teeth again, <clears throat> and just start cranking the teeth downward. There they are. It's almost perfectly at the 12 o'clock position, but not quite. So just push the teeth downward on this side, because we're gonna tighten them. And there's a slight drag there, but you want a little more than that. And uh, sometimes the difference between one and two teeth is pretty dramatic. Once you reach the point where you're close, um, you'll have to back it off a little bit to get the right tension again. So I can take both hands and move this with just a little bit of pressure and that's gonna be just fine. Don't forget to put the rubber thingy back in there, cover that up and uh, the rotor's properly installed now. Get in a vise, yank the old clips off, the old pad retaining clips. Then you want to wire brush out the channels where the clips came from. Okay. So with the caliper bracket all cleaned up, lubed up, new clips, we can get that installed again. You can reinstall the 19 mil head bolts to hold the bracket.
<clears throat> this is the pad that goes on the inside because it's got the little sensor ear. When your pads wear down enough, that little bit will actually scrape the rotor and give you a warning that the pads have to be changed before you destroy the rotor. Light coating on the ear, both sides. Fits right in the clip, nice and neat. Same thing on the front. Little dab of disc brake quiet on the back of the pad surfaces. Now we can bring the caliper body back over around the pads, tuck these rubber boots in the way they're supposed to be so they're ready for the pins to get put in. So the next step now, remember the pin with the rubber boot, rubber piece on the end that's gonna go on the bottom. First we gotta clean it off with the existing grease, a little brake clean, wipe it down. Little fresh grease on it and you can slide it in like so get it far enough in until the threads start to take into the caliper body repeat the process with the upper pin too Don't forget that after you do all this, you're gonna need to pump your brakes up. So when you start the car, make sure you pump the brakes a little bit before you put it in gear, because it's gonna take two to three pumps to bring these pistons back out so they grab the rotor safely. Don't ever forget that. I forgot that a couple times, and thankfully uh, I had the time to build up pressure before I hit anything important. So, so once you got that far, it's a matter of just putting your wheel back on, Pump up your brakes before you drive, and you'll be good to go.